So today, I'm gonna to share with you seven of my favorite movements that have helped me get on the road quicker and in less pain. So let's get right into it. First things first is we start with dynamic warmups, not static stretching. Uh, it helps get the blood flowing and it just gently eases into the motion. So the first one I like to do is just a basic knee hug. You're gonna go ahead, stand tall and alternating legs. You're gonna pull your knee towards your chest. Again, staying tall on these. You're just gonna go for, I like to say 30 seconds to a minute each movement. If you don't know how long that is or you don't have a timer, just do eight to 15 reps. Once you're done with the knee hug, I like to move on to a quad stretch. So you're just gonna pull the back of your ankle towards your glute. I alternate sides and what I'd really like you to do is reach with the opposite hand towards the ceiling or the sky just to make sure you're lengthening the side muscles and staying tall in that running movement. Also, if you can, try not to shoot your leg out to the side, but keep the knees close to one another, reaching tall. Again, eight, 12 reps each leg, about 30 seconds to a minute. Once you get that, next movement, piriformis stretch. It's gonna be kind of a figure four where you reach your leg in front of you and gently pull your shin towards your chest. So the movement isn't your chest towards your shin, but again, staying tall, common theme in running. Pull that leg towards your chest gently. And you can imagine, if you look at it from the front, kind of looks like a pigeon pose stretch. You're just gonna open up that posterior chain. Ooh, here's some cracking, that's good. Just know your limitations, get warm. After that, we'll do a lunge and a twist. I like to do a reverse lunge, it's easier on my knees. At the bottom, I'll reach towards the side of the leg that's in front, the other direction, and stand. Eight to 12 reps, 30 seconds to a minute. This movement really opens up the thoracic, also focuses on the hips, hip flexors, opening up the groin. There's a million and one stretches that you could do before a run. These are the seven that help me the most. After the lunge and twist, I like to do leg swings. I use a wall for balance. If you have the balance, you could do it without the wall. Again, eight to 12 reps. Forward and back. Make sure to hit each side. So you go left. And then I like to do side to side. So sweep up and down to get your adductors firing. Hips feeling loose. Okay. After the leg swings, you go upper body stretches. Opening up the chest. Huge shout out to Critical Bench for posting a run warm up that inspired most of this warm up, uh, specifically all the upper body focus to make sure your chest is open and you have room for all that good air coming in during your run. You could do chest openers, hugs, reach up overhead. I like to even incorporate some single arm. Whatever feels right, just 30 seconds to a minute, opening up your upper body. After that, one of the biggest things I learned about myself in the mornings is that I feel it in my calves, my ankles, my shins. 
They're just not ready to run at 5.30 in the morning. So what I like to do is grab a ball and spend anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes per foot just rolling out the arch, the uh, base of the toes, and then really for me, the primary one, the heel. Rolling out the heel. You could lose a cross ball, tennis ball. Uh, you could even use a golf ball. If you don't have any mobility tools though, what I would recommend for my final movement is going barefoot, whatever space you have, and alternating from tiptoe, tiptoe, heel, heel. And just getting some walks in like that Make sure to alternate which side you start on, right and left, tiptoe, tiptoe, heel, heel, tiptoe, tiptoe, heel, heel. And really what this will do is just make sure that your shins, calves, the arches of your feet are prepared to absorb all that impact from your morning run. You can see already sweating. It's been about three to five minutes and that's the idea of a good warm up. You get the blood flowing. So that way you're not warming up on the first half mile of your run. You're warm when you hit the street. Hope this helped. Make sure to like and subscribe. 